Dell founded the company that bears his name in a dorm room with a thousand dollars and turned the company into a PC giant with a catchy campaign. Remember the Dell dude? Dude, you're getting a Dell. Easy to buy, easy to own, easy as Dell. Since then, Dell has tried to turn the company around multiple times. He left the company in 2004, only to return in 2007. After Dell lost the top PC spot to HP, he has spent more than $12 billion over the last seven years to compensate for falling PC demand. And now Bloomberg News has learned that Dell is in talks to take his company private. So how can Dell be saved? Jeffrey Hazlett knows how hard it is to turn a company around. As the former CMO of Kodak, he went on to found his own consulting firm that helps businesses map out their futures. He joins us live now from New York. So, Jeffrey, you obviously know about this firsthand. How hard is this going to be for oh, Michael this Dell? A, this is a great big job. In fact, you got a question, do you want to do it? Now, the, the deal is doable. That's certainly the case. When you look at the numbers, interest rates being down, you look at the cash, you look at Michael has 16% of this company that he owns himself. So it's doable, but do you want to? And that's the key question because the numbers work out. Really what Dell needs, they need to bring back the dude, you know, have that back. That's what people are looking for. Bring him back. We want the guy that flew to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, drove down to North Sioux City, South Dakota, went to the headquarters of Gateway, climbed the fence, and threw T-shirts on the headquarters of Gateway with the words Dell on it. That's what they have to do. They have to get that mojo back, and that's the big question. On that note, you know, Dell says, Michael Dell says he's willing to make drastic moves to make this work. Does Dell still need Michael Dell? Well, they need someone, and I think Michael's probably the right one to do it because he's proven he can do it in the past. Now, if they shun all of the public trappings that go with it, they'll save hundreds of millions of dollars of, you know, compliance and regulations that they have to go through just for being public. So that's a, a very big positive. They're really going to have to refocus the business, which they can't do publicly, because today if they want to shun off the consumer products, that's 70% of their revenue and 40% of their profits, and that's tough to do when you're a publicly traded company trying to meet those short-term numbers. Now, if you're doing that as a private firm, as a private owner, you can start to do that, and it makes great sense because it moves them into much higher margin products and with some bigger sales. It means they're going to be leaner and meaner, a smaller company, but making more money in the long run. Does this need to be done in private? I mean, does the strategy yeah. need to be so bold that it has to be done behind closed doors? Well, it's a lot easier, and I think that's the key thing. And it, again, do you want to have that mojo? Do you want to go through what you're going to have to do? And that's a tough, tough decision. It is much easier to do as a private company. You don't have someone looking over your shoulder every five minutes. So taking it private does make sense if you're going to make those drastic moves and cuts that you're going to have to have, but reposition the company again for long term. Most, you know, you know, you know, bondholders, most shareholders, most people who have a piece of the company want to see that profit. And they've been generating, what, a couple billion dollars a year in cash in terms of dividends. They've been, you know, running a lot of cash, which has been good. They've just been coming down in profits. I think the 47% over last year down. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to have to do something a little bit different. You know, bringing back the Dell dude is one thing, but, you know, they can't change falling PC demand. Michael Dell has said that he, he's wanted to turn this into more of a services company, a transition that IBM made now years ago. Can Dell really do that? Well, they've already proven that they can. They have a number of their products already in this area. A lot of corporations and enterprises actually buy from them today, 30% of their, roughly 30% of their company. You know, everyone is rushing to the cloud, and Dell wants to be there too, just like everybody else. That's where the money is. So that's right. where they want to go. All right. Well, Dell has a long way to go. We will keep following this story. Hearing this could happen uh, any time now. Jeffrey Hazlett, CEO of the Hazlett Group and former CMO of Kodak. Thanks so much. Bring back the dude. Up next, music is now the second most talked about topic on Twitter in the U.S. So how will Twitter put that to use to help its business? We speak with Twitter's head of music next.